What can the McDonald's time I help you? Hey there, may I please get the 10 piece McNugget? Just a nugget? Yep. Okay, what kind of sauce? Mulan sauce, please. <laughs> what, you don't have the 1998 Mulan Special Edition sauce? I mean, we got it now. All right, sick. All right, dude, thanks. Let you do it. All right, 506 first one, though, thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Bo. Today we're gonna to be making the 1998 Mulan Special Edition McNuggets Dipping Sauce here in your own kitchen. It'll be super easy and we can do it in less than a minute. The ingredients you're gonna need will be six cloves of garlic. You can use these cool things from Trader Joe's or just do six big cloves minced up. You're also gonna need two tablespoons of plum wine, which looks like this, choya if you don't need it, or umeshu would also work four tablespoons balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of brown sugar with about a tablespoon of white sugar, and then about two, two and a half tablespoons of sriracha. If you don't know what sriracha is, it's delicious. We're gonna be having some soy sauce to taste, as well as a little bit of ground ginger and some red pepper flake. Let's get it done. Put your pan on somewhere around medium, medium high. We're not trying to go crazy here. Take your six cloves of garlic, stick them in the pan. What we're going here for is a sweat. We just want to get the garlic to start smelling awesome and not have any browning, okay? We're not going to brown the garlic. So add just a little oil if you need to, just to kind of help the process along. At this point, we're going to add in our four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. We want it to kind of start doing a little bit of bubbly, but don't go crazy on it. We're trying to burn anything. A little bit of soy sauce goes in. You can figure out how much you like, but I want just a little dash of that. In goes the plum wine. The plum wine has a lot of water in it and it's gonna kinda boil off. There might be a little bit of steam, don't go crazy. We want it to be just about this point. Perfect, a little bit of bubbles, not crazy. Now add in your sriracha. The sriracha will be a little bit tough. Mix it in, be thorough about it though, cause it's gonna start to really congeal and bind that sauce together. At this point, we wanna add in our brown sugar and a little bit of that white as we saw and keep stirring, do not stop stirring. We don't want it to brown or get any kind of hot spots. That's the essence of it. You see how it got really shiny and glossy? This is when you wanna add a little bit of that pepper flake and a little hit of the ginger. And now let it boil until it's nat bay, which means you pull it and it looks like that. Sexy. Sexy. Now take from the pan directly into your serving dish. Get all the little bits off and it's gonna be good. You wanna let it rest for about five minutes before serving, cause it's gonna be really, really hot. But whoa, look at that shine. That is Mulan sauce. All right, now look at this. We went out and got ourselves at McDonald's and the kid was so impressed with our uh, sauce. He even gave me a fr small fry for free. So how does it compare? How does it compare to what we all remember as kids in 1998? Real nuggets and our sauce. I don't know. Why don't we zoom in and find out? Food porn! Holy shit, you guys. This sauce is so good. Now, I was alive in 1998, but I'll tell you, this is damn near the same taste. It'd be a lot sweeter because remember, they use high fructose corn syrup, a bunch of preservatives and other crap, but it's essentially the same. This is almost the same thing, and it tastes great. You can cut down the sriracha if you don't like, like real spicy stuff or the red pepper flake, but I wouldn't. Follow my recipe, you're gonna fucking love it. So, Rick and Morty, we gotta get that sauce. Give me the fucking sauce. Thanks for watching. See ya.